Hi and welcome to ATC Keep Educating Yourself series. This lecture is about continuous descent operations. Historically pilots are using step down approach procedures. This has been in use for over last 20 years. Essentially the aircraft begins their initial descent and take a series of steps. As a passenger you must have felt that aircraft reduces altitude for small duration and then increases engine thrust and then lower it again. Continuous descent approach is a flight operation technique close to the optimum performance of aircraft with minimum thrust and continuous descent. Reference material DOC 9931 Continuous Descent Operations CDO Manual What is Continuous Descent Operations CDO? It is an aircraft operating technique. It needs appropriate airspace and procedure design and ATC clearances. Which helps in the execution of an optimized flight profile optimized of the aircraft. Aircraft operates with low engine thrust and low drag configuration. This helps in reducing fuel burn and emissions during descent. In a conventional non-CDA approach the aircraft descends stepwise with portions of level flight in between. The reasons for step descent is due to coordination procedures, airspace design or traffic. As per fuel burn chart, 300 gallons of fuel is consumed in step down conventional descent methods. By performing a CDA, the aircraft remains higher for longer and operates at lower engine thrust. The ideal CDA starts at the top of descent and ends when the aircraft starts the final approach and follows the glide slope to the runway. Typically CDAs are not possible all the time, not for all arriving flights and not always for the whole descent profile. But at more and more airports measures are taken to use CDA to the extent possible and to gradually increase the percentage of CDA flight. Fuel burn chart shows fuel consumption of 100 to 200 gallons per flight in comparison to 300 gallons of step down descent procedure. Objectives of CDA Reduce aircraft noise, fuel burn, and emissions by means of a continuous descent. Keeping aircraft as high as possible for as long as possible is more effective at reducing noise impact on the ground than low power, low drag techniques alone. Low power, low drag technique is a noise abatement technique for arriving aircraft in which the pilot delays the extension of wing flaps and undercarriage until the final stages of the approach subject to compliance with ATC speed control requirements and the safe operation of the aircraft. The conventional descent needs thrust adjustments for aircraft. Thrust will be increased in most cases as aircraft has to gain the vertical flight profile which got interrupted due some constraint which resulted in step flight. CDA procedure follows a fixed assigned flight path angle with the aircraft continuously descending toward the runway threshold with near idle thrust. Approach profiles of CDA versus non-CDA is shown on a single graph. Issues with conventional approach, more CO2 emission, noise and high cost of fuel which is major contributory factor to the cost of operations to airlines and it is almost equals 27% of the operation cost to airlines. Benefits of continuous descent approach idle engine at higher levels. Less emission and less fuel is consumed. Practical difficulties faced by ATC, he will be unable to maintain separation between descending CDA aircraft. For pilot in command, it will be difficult in maintaining tight vertical flight profile. It is acknowledged that the perfect, ideal CDA commences from toad and ends at touchdown, however the reality of the situation is that airspace congestion and operational limitations do not allow for this in most circumstances. CDA procedure follows a fixed, assigned flight path angle, with the aircraft continuously descending toward the runway threshold with near idle thrust. CDA can be achieved in parts also. Initial CDA operations was interrupted in between due some constraints but after that CDA resumed. CDA profiles are more predictable for ATC. Key CDA elements. Airspace design. Flight procedure should be designed in such a manner that CDA route profiles should be achievable for all aircraft types and flight conditions. CDA altitude constraints should be preferably defined and expressed with at or above for stars or at or below for sits rather than fixed prescribed altitude and CDA altitude constraints should be compatible with speed constraints. 
Aeronautical information publications AIP should be published with all CDA relevant information on charts in a clear and unambiguous manner. Traffic planning and coordination. Conditions and criteria for CDA initiation should be clearly identified and communicated. Transfer of CDA traffic should be coordinated properly between ATC sectors. Air traffic controllers. Air traffic controllers should be aware of aircraft energy management principles to anticipate CDA traffic behavior and to provide instructions consistent with flight management practices. ATC should provide pilots with timely accurate distance to touchdown information at regular time intervals as appropriate that will facilitate CDO. Whenever safety requires it, controller should interrupt CDA in progress and revert to standard radar vectors with speed and altitude control. Flight crew's needs. Pilots needs training on CDA principles and interaction with ATC. Flight crews should refuse CDA if not appropriate for safe flight management. Flight crews should determine the optimum point of initiation and the vertical profile. Flight crews should keep flight management system FMS updated in particular after any intermediate level of or track adjustment. Flight crews should ensure the aircraft is stabilized for approach. The aim is to convert CDA into successful stabilized approach. Safety. Local implementation of CDA needs to be subjected to a risk assessment and mitigation process on. To assist in this task, Eurocontrol has published the document on the guidance for safety assessment of continuous descent operations implementation at aerodromes. Implementation and review. Implement, prepare a full set of procedures as required, including phraseology, to facilitate permanent procedures with all required metrics in place if relevant. Publish and market, publish CDA in AIP and promote and market CDAs in force to all interested parties that will benefit from CDAs e.g. local communities, noise reduction, ETC. Onward review and reporting, continuation of review process, metrics, ETC. Produce reports and statistics as required on a periodic basis. Be a part of the change. Studies concluded the fuel savings from a CDO flight compared to a non-CDO flight range anywhere from 50 to 150 kg per flight. Several studies have also demonstrated that CDO can reduce noise by 1-5 dB compared to a non-CDO operation and CO2 emissions can be reduced from 150 to 450 kg per flight. Study further shows that an airline operating with fleet of only 20 Airbus 320 or B737 operating 6 flights a day, CDO will result in more than 2 million kilograms i.e. 7 lakh gallon of fuel saving per year. It will substantially bring down the cost of airline operations and will result in saving of 35 crore United States dollars which is equivalent to 25 crore Indian rupees. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time till then take care of yourself. Namaste.